Pursuant to Internal Revenue Service guidance, be advised that any federal tax advice contained in this program is not intended to be used and it cannot be used by any person or entity for the purpose of avoiding any tax penalties that may be imposed by the Internal Revenue Service or any other U.S. federal taxing authority or agency or promoting, marketing, or recommending to another party any transaction or matter addressed in this show. The opinions expressed by the host and the guests are their own and may not be used as authoritative advice. Any use of this material without the written consent of the host is strictly prohibited. Welcome back. I am your host, Attorney Stephen Leahy, and this is the IRS Radio Hour on AM 560. The The answer. answer. That's correct. Um, This is uh, our segment where I talk about the... um, The listener question of the week. What is it this week, Jim? From Dr. Richard Fader of Fort Fort Hood, Indiana, writes, uh, does the IRS treat business taxes different than income taxes, Steve? Well, that's a very good question, Dr. Fader. Dr. Richard Fader. We also know that there is no... That's from Roseanne, Rosanna. Daniel. I know who it's okay. from. I know, I know you know who it's from. I'm telling the, the listeners, the listening audience, because they might not know. That's right, Miss Face. <laughs> <laughs> that's from another side. I understand what that's from. Uh, okay, so to, the answer is uh, yes. Okay, what's okay. next? <laughs> uh, we okay. have some time. Well, we're going we're to do a, a, a short musical interlude. <laughs> no, what happens is, right, that it is, the answer is yes, and here's why. Because when you talk, if, the, if when we're talking about business taxes, we're really talking about those 941 taxes that we talked about a couple of weeks ago. We can use the Koch brothers. Thing. Well, that we could talk right. about. That's right, because the Koch brothers kind of ties into this about the tax, different kinds of taxes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, so what we're, when we talk about business taxes, we're talking about the nine forty one taxes. And remember, nine forty one taxes are what they call trust taxes, which means it's not really a tax on the company; it's a tax on on the uh, employee. And the company takes money from the employee and puts and supposed to hold it in trust, and then sends send it to the IRS. And so that money never belonged to the, according to the IRS, never belonged to the company. It wasn't your money. And so they treat it much differently in that they're, they're um, very aggressive in trying to collect on that money, uh, different than a, an income tax. So an income tax is tax that I owed, so it didn't belong to somebody else. And so, mm-hmm. and so there's a different standards. So, for instance, the, the – st- the standard um, payback period for a 941 tax, if my business is behind in my 941 taxes, the, generally the IRS wants to give me 24 months to pay it back. And sometimes with with personal income taxes, they'll give me seven, six years, sometimes longer. And if you don't pay it, they'll give you seven years. <laughs> in the penitentiary, <laughs> no. Uh uh, anyway, so that's the so again. There's a big difference in, and it actually is a different department. So when they said, say, um, they go, the Koch brothers didn't pay any income tax, or okay, but okay, I, I want to get into that. But okay. first, I want to explain because what happens with this business tax? Because remember, and I explained this some weeks ago, but I want to get into this again because it's important that if I don't pay the 941 taxes, what they'll do is they'll they'll assess a tax against me personally. So my company owes 941 taxes, and then they'll assess that tax against me personally. It's called the trust fund recovery penalty. And it's not really a penalty, it's a tax. And they'll and and they'll come after the owner of the company or one of the responsible parties. So if I and there's a difference now, right? We have we have uh subchapter S corporations, we have set chapter C corporations, you have LLCs so, and this is what we're going going to the Koch brothers, right? If they have a subchapter S corporation, that means that uh, the corp- the corporation isn't taxed pers- uh, as an ent- as an entity. All the profits move to the owners of the company, and the company owners pay tax. So when they say, so for instance, if I have a company and it's a subchapter S and there's a profit, they'll say, your corporation never paid any taxes. Well, that's true, technically, because my because all the profit went, there is no profit because the profit went to the owner, and the owner paid the tax. Income tax. So he still paid tax on it. It just wasn't the company paying the tax. It was the owner paying the tax. So that's a kind of a misnomer. It's, it, it sounds evil and nefarious. Hey, he doesn't pay. That corporation doesn't pay any taxes, but they do pay taxes. 
because a regular C corporation, a larger corporation, if I'm a if I'm trading stock, you can't be a, a subchapter S corporation. You have to be a C corporation. And then what happens with the C corporation is when if they make a profit, then the corporation pays a tax on that profit, and then the the corporation distributes that profit profit as dividends, and then the people who own the stock also pay taxes. Mm-hmm. So the money is taxed twice. That reminds me of when Mitt Romney. He was running, and they said he only paid fifty because he wasn't working. He had all that money in, in investments. You've Capital already, gains taxes. You've are already less. paid. Right. You have already paid taxes on your on the money you're putting into the investment when you made it. Now, w- when you're getting your interest payments and you're getting and you're you're selling stocks mm-hmm. and you're doing your capital gains, you're paying another tax rate. It's not as high as your income tax rate. Because we want to encourage people to... Well, we did want to encourage people. That used to be be the way that this country ran for the last 30 years, which is why we had a a booming economy. That's right. Uh, Now, I guess, what didn't we find out this week that the IRS not only has... uh, has They've collected more. Oh, they have collected more money than ever before and have audited less than ever. So we talk about the tax gap a lot. That's right. Here, and we always think that the tax gap at 87% is a, is a remarkable and number. They're, and they're blaming the IRS scandal on the fact that they don't have enough money or they're not being able so, to do this. So and, but, of course, the IRS is saying, we should have collected so much more. Well, you collected more than you've ever done before. I know, but we could have gotten more, man, if we just had more there's, people. There's just there's never enough. You can never, never stop enough. feeding the beast. Now, I don't think people should avoid paying taxes. No, uh, you know we all need you know, we all pay taxes, and and some of it goes to good causes. <laughs> I think less and less <laughs> as we get go go on. But but we all have to pay taxes, and that's just the that, way. Yeah, life that's is. not what we're saying. What we're saying is it's just the, the government is just getting too big, too overbearing, and too intrusive, and that has to stop. Well, I don't. I agree with you there. So come on on the other side. 